Low benefit care to me means uh, any kind of care, whether that's investigation, treatment or management, uh, that doesn't provide any particular benefit to the patient or is very low benefit to the patient, might be quite costly, but not adding much to the patient's care or potentially even be harmful. For example, starting inappropriate antibiotics or for children uh, who don't have bacterial infections, which can impact uh, with side effects for the particular patient, but also adds to uh, potential antibiotic resistance in the community. Low benefit care to me, and I've experienced this myself is um, when you're in hospital and you're waiting for like minor test results to come through and they're keeping you in hospital just until the test results come through but you're perfectly and clinically well enough to go home when yeah it could be just a phone call when they receive the answers. The benefits are both in this illness but also in the future, so that if a child maybe has to come back into hospital or have further interactions with healthcare workers in any kind of setting, they know that things aren't being done to them unnecessarily and so they can feel secure and safe that whatever is happening is going to help them. When we stop doing things that are unnecessary, there's obviously savings involved, but it also means that across a whole health service, we are delivering best practice management uh, for our patients and their families, which then enhances the relationship that we have with the community and people can be assured that when they present, then they'll be cared for safely. Ensuring that the clinician is really listening to the patient or in paediatric situation, the parents, because the patient, the parents, they know the person's body, like you know your own body. And I think it's really important for the clinicians to remember that there is a person on the other side. Having those conversations in a simplistic way, making sure that it's not all medical jargon, that they're really explaining it in um, simple terms and so in words that the consumer can understand. There's no risk of misinterpretation. There's a fantastic list of uh, five questions to ask your doctor or healthcare provider on the Choosing Wisely website. Uh, does my child need this treatment? What benefits does this treatment provide? what are the potential complications and so on. Uh, so it's really useful for consumers to go onto the Choosing Wisely website uh, so that they can really be involved in that collaborative partnership with the treatment of their child.